Cam, Melissa, I'm going to be talking about interaction of silly and how that was framed within the antagonist of the film. So as we learned in class, interaction of theory places importance of sports on the social interactions that sports fosters, and especially the wants and needs of the children versus the business. In, film, in the film, um, social interactions between the Africans and the South Africans within sports were still heavily stigmatized, as we see by the black South African characters rejecting anything to do with the Springboks um, before Mandela embarks on his journey. So the true antagonist of the film is the overarching oppressive legal system of apartheid and the lasting effects that it has on the interracial relations of the South African population. So apartheid kind of demonized any type of positive social interaction or camaraderie between white and black South Africans at the time, and it caused generations of trauma that were still seen within the people at the time of the film. However, throughout the film interactions, um, the, the interactionist theory came for the win, and it was the main component of Mandela's plan. Um, one specific example of both sides of interactionist theory throughout the film would be the church donation scene, and that's where the little boy runs away, and he would rather refuse um, clothes and be cold than to wear a springbok jersey. And this would cause negative social interactions with his peers because of the stigma of supporting the Springboks. Because it was said in the film that the kids still saw the Springboks and supporting them as representing apartheid. Um, another scene showed the Springboks giving coaching clinics as a sort of PR tool via Mandela to the black South African children. And for many of the children, this positive social interaction might have been the first one they had even had with a white, black, or a white South African. But this positive social interaction was enough to change their attitudes about rugby, about supporting the Springboks, and in a bigger way about the racial divide mindset that they were picking up from generational trauma and lived experience. The antagonist apartheid was a poisonous system that left traces in the minds of the whole population, and it was the social interaction throughout the film that kind of acted as the antidote to dismantle the segregation and to enforce people to, em to see each other equally and to embrace